pounds of ice cream in the freezer. Yum, but first I want to pour the pill. Oh, oh dear. Me. Honey, don't touch that. No, 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 no. That's what we pay other people to do. <laughs> oh. oh, please, everyone, let's come out here and enjoy the fresh air, shall we? Please sit down if you like. No, no, no. You can sit on newspapers. Oh. You know, everything seems to pile up after Labor Day. No, no, we, we won't be staying. I just came to collect Todd. He and I are expected at a soiree this evening. And who is giving a soiree? Uh, Charles and Victoria Banks. <clears throat> Dorian, people are starting to complain about this place. They want to condemn. What? That would be the most atrocious and horrible thing to ever happen in America. What a nerve. I know that you lost everything in that party scene, Dorian. <sighs> afford to maintain this place, and that's too bad, but you can't live here. There's no AC. It is rather warm, isn't it? There's no running water. And I, I've been told that Carlotta has stopped making food deliveries because you refuse to pay your bills. Bills? are such a nuisance. Dorian, darling. Yes, well, the fact is that people are beginning to talk, and it's a little embarrassing. And I can't have my ex-wife and her aunt living in squalor like this. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to sell this place and move into a condo by the lake. <gasps> Dory, we can breed ducks. <gasps> Won't that be cozy? <laughs> I will never sell this house. You can't afford to keep it, though, Dory. The only way that we will ever leave La Boulet is feet First. Didn't you say there was ice cream? It melted. No. Oh. need your charity. Do we, Aunt Dorian? Have it your way, Blair. I'll be in the limousine, Todd. <clears throat> oh! And Dorian, Todd and I just paid Raymond this and his new gorgeous wife in Belize a visit. They send their regards. You know, I could have ended up with Todd, you know. It, it could have been me. But it wasn't. Todd? I'm not gonna allow you to end up with that two-timing ambulance chaser. Well, Taya doesn't work anymore. We just <laughs> relax. Todd, you could be so much better. Can't we try again? You threw away your chance with me after that one time in the cabana, remember? How? You gave up. You gave up and just buried yourself here at La Boulay. And now look at you. No cats, Dorian. No way. What? Oh, cat. Oh. No. What'd you I do that for? I'm not gonna stay here. End up here alone, what? crazy in this house. Come That's on. not nice. Come on. Kitties don't like to be no. scared oh, like that. Stamping your foot. Let's go. Let's go. Me. Whose bright idea was it to invite him? Sorry, sorry. Does he do not answer that. Do not answer that. Yeah, I'm in the middle of something. Is this an emergency? 
No, that's not an emergency. That's not an emergency. Sorry. Let me, uh... How do you do? Oh, no, okay. It's on vibrate. Why bother turning it off? What? Nice ringtone. Who was that? Nobody. Yeah, go ahead there, Your Holiness. Get on with it. Let's go. That guy needs a snack down. Yeah, tell me Let's about see, it. see, where were we? Um... Uh, does anyone here have a reason why these two couples should not be married? Well, no, I believe we've already covered that, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's get the show on the road. Well, since there are no objections... Wait! Hold everything! Please don't. Excuse me. Taya, look over. No! Ouch! Don't you hang up on me ever again, you got it? You're taking calls from Blair at your sister's wedding. Let's find you a seat, Dr. Lord. Oh, no, I'm just fine. Thank you, bro. Dorian, will you just sit down? I know, I didn't invite her. I did! She's my guest. I mean, come on. Dorian, come on, there's people. I prefer here. here to remain standing. Can, can you just maybe not cause trouble for one day in your life? Maybe maybe just this once? Au contraire, Nathalie. <laughs> I'm not here to cause trouble. Nope. Then why are you here? I am here to stop four people from making the biggest mistakes of their entire lives. <sighs> You've stepped forward. Do you have a reason why these two couples should not be married? Uh, Dorian, why don't you just go somewhere where you can sober up? Uh, that's an excellent idea. Judgment? <laughs> From you two? <laughs> I have merely had a Cosmo or two or three. Dorian, you're drunk. Nobody wants to hear it. Dorian, Dorian, I think, I think I can't sit down. Let these people get married. First things first. Oh, for heaven's sake. Isn't there something else we could do? No, she's not going to shut no. up until she's had her say. Okay, Dorian, I tell you what. You say what you came to say, but know this. Nothing, nothing you can do is going to stop us from getting married. <sighs> Time is very precious. So why would I waste it pointing out the obvious that's known to everybody here in this church, which is that Vicky belongs with Clint and that Nora is deluding herself because the only man who will ever float her boat is her beloved Bo. But will I say that? Oh, no, no, no. No. I am here to propose a toast. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, I want to propose a toast to Charlie and Vicky. To Clint and Nora, may you cherish this day for the rest of your life and prove all the naysayers wrong. Excuse me. Yeah. Yes. Right. Thank you. I'm done. Out. That's good. Sure. Well, at least that's over. Shall we continue or maybe skip to the good part? Sounds like a great idea to me. Works for me. Yeah, let's do it. All right, uh, please, join hands. I, Victoria, take you, Charlie, to be my lawful husband. Secure, secure in the, in the knowledge, knowledge that, that you will be my, my constant husband. friend, my faithful partner, and, and my, my one, one true love. love. On this special day, in the presence of God and family and friends, I pledge, I pledge to love, love you without reservation. In sickness and in health, in joy, and, and in sorrow. sorrow. To comfort you in times of distress. To, to encourage, encourage you to reach your highest, highest heights. To laugh with you. Cry with you. And, and grow, grow with, with you, you in mind and spirit. spirit. To always be open and I'm honest with, with you. you. And to cherish you. So long as we both shall live. You are blessed Lord. Who makes the bridegroom and the bride happy.
And may we have the rings? You who wear this ring, wear it as a symbol of the wholeness of your commitment. And of your sacred love for one another as your lives are now bound in each other's keeping. And so, in the presence of these witnesses and by the authority vested in me according to the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I, uh, we now pronounce you husband and wife <laughs> and husband and wife. So, you think they're ready for the kiss? I think they're ready for the kiss. You, you may, may kiss, kiss the, the brides. Taking me anywhere. I'm not gonna let you drive, Blair. I, you don't have to because I have a car. I'm a driver. I'm fine. Okay? Because you're gonna hurt yourself. No, I'm else. not gonna hurt myself. But <clears throat> I know you still care about me, Todd. Alright, is that a yes? I'm gonna drive you or what? Okay, you can you can take me home, but just to go to sleep, nothing else, because I'm just way too tired, okay? So much for our date. Have fun holding Blair's hair out of the toilet. See you at the reception. What the hell is the matter with you? Come on, it was a joke. It was a joke. Oh, come on, now can I help it if Tay is sensitive? You know what Todd is? He is a complete fool. And you know, I know, I know, I've heard you tell me a million times that. But he is, and he is disgusting. He is a grown man. He has three children. Oh my God, he's chasing Taya Delgado around like, I don't know, like a teenager in the heat. Oh, poor Vicky. She just wanted to have a civilized wedding right here. And her brother has to show up with that thing on his arm. I mean, it's somebody needs to knock him in the head. Knock some sense into him. It does. I mean, she tell you. Oh, my God. I tell you. I mean, he can do so much better than her. I mean, you know, I, you know somebody just going to have to get up in his face and, and show him. That's, you know, I'm not saying this has to be me. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Dorian? 